Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have the new Beauty Bay New Romantic Collection to review, swatch and do a little demo for you guys. So if you guys want the tea on this brand new collection launching tomorrow, 1st of February, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before I get started with this video, I just wanna say a massive thank you to Beauty Bay for sending me these products to have a look at before they launched. I'm still in disbelief that I have these products. I can't even tell you guys the feelings that I'm having right now. It's a little bit crazy, it's a little bit crazy. But I do wanna thank you all because this genuinely wouldn't have been possible without the support and love that you guys give me on my platforms. I I'm grateful, I'm grateful. So thank you guys so much. Before this turns into some Oscar nomination speech type thing, let's go ahead and have a look at the collection. So this is a four piece collection. So you do have the new romantic palette and it comes in this gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. And this palette retails for 15 pounds. If you guys have seen the Book of Magic palette or the Sunset Horizons palette, then it's a similar vibe to that. A similar size everything like that it looks virtually you know as part of the family and then we have the three liquid crystal eyeshadows you can get these individually for six pound each or you can buy the whole set for 15 pounds so the first shade we have is called morganite dang okay so this is morganite it's a pink with a subtle gold and orange shift i'm not really one for metallic shades and things like that but I do quite like this for a liner. And then we've got Carnelian. This one is a deep berry with pink and gold glitters in it. They are definitely pigmented. I don't know if you guys can see, but Carnelian has little shimmers in it that the first one didn't have. And it's a little bit more sheer as well. And the final shade we have is Sardonyx. And this one is a soft berry with silver and gold glitters this one looks kind of plum this one looks like a plummy kind of shade to me so those are the shades swatched of the liquid shadows yeah that first one morgana is really she's kind of singing to me yeah if you move it around as well, it gets more of like an orangey, pinky shift, yeah. Yeah. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the palette. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Every time I look at this palette, I get a little bit... It's just so... I just think it's so cute. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside once you've opened the box. So it's a pink base and then it has the same pattern as the box for the writing and it just says new romantic. This palette is a very warm toned palette which I think is perfect for Valentine's Day. I absolutely love how the colour story looks. I do like that the palette sort of caters for different types of looks. We've got a lot of the berry shades but then we also have some neutral transition-y type shades in here as well and I love how this purple shade over here looks. That looks absolutely stunning. But you guys can't get a full feel for the palette without me doing some swatches. So I am going to go ahead and swatch the entire palette. So I will be swatching it in rows going like that. So we are starting with this shade over here, which is vanilla. Then we've got birthday, oyster, flamingo. I'm just going to pause and tell you guys that this formula is so creamy. I'm obsessed with this formula. If you guys have any of their other palettes, specifically the Sunset Horizons or the Book of Magic, then you know exactly the formula I'm talking about. I'm so, so, so glad that they've stuck with that formula in this palette because it is... It's a good formula, okay? Lingerie. Milkshake. Chintz. Claret. Queen. Smoothie, Penny, Embers, Ooh, Raspberry, Mars, Royal, I'm running out of arm space, <laughs> Muffin, Khaki, Saddle, okay I'm moving on to the other side of my arm now, Valentine, 
which kind of looks like that shade up there and lastly we have this shade ink so this is the entire palette swatched i personally am in love with the deeper shades that you guys can see over here those are definitely my kind of vibe i don't really lean towards using paler shades like this i don't really think they suit me all that well but i do like to use them to blend out the crease when i've used a deep shade you guys will see me do that in this video but yep yeah, this is what those shades look like against my skin tone i love 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 the shimmers this shade penny is screaming at me right now and raspberry oh yeah so these so basically this is the entire collection on my hands if you wanted to take it that way so this is what the colors look like but the swatches are done so the only thing left to do is to have a play with the palette so i am now going to show you guys how i completed this look using this palette so go ahead stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the tutorial as always the first thing i'm going to do is prime my eyelid and i'm using the same thing that i always use which is my revolution ultimate eye base this time i'm using the shade dark i've lost the shade medium i'm not gonna lie to you there's really no science behind it so i'm just gonna apply a little bit on the lid and i'm using my beauty blender to blend that out and now we're jumping straight into the palette so the first shade i'm gonna dip into is this burgundy looking shade right here this is correct and i'm just putting it onto a fluffy brush and this is going into my crease area so i first pack on the product using the brush just want to show you guys the pigment i love the beauty bay palettes for their pigment honestly i've probably said it about 15 times in this video but the book of magic palette and the sunset horizons the formula is just everything for me so i'm stamping on that color just like this and then without taking any extra product on the brush i'm just gonna do small back and forth motions to blend out that shade you don't have to put it all over your lid like I've done here because we're going to cut the crease anyway. And I don't even think I did that when I did this eye. It's just, I don't know, things just turned out this way. The pigment really took over. Yeah, so you really don't need to cover the lid like this. Although it is a very nice shade to have like a monochrome eye if you really wanted to. I'm going to leave that there and I'm taking a lighter pink shade over here called Smoothie. And this I'm going to use to blend into that shade there and just lighten it up. I find that this just helps things blend a lot nicer. Pretty much the base done. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease and then we're going to go ahead and do the last shade. So to cut my crease I'm going back in with that Revolution Eye Base and then you just cut it to the shape that you like or whatever suits your eye shape the crease has been cut and I'm going back in with the very first shade we used claret and I'm just gonna pack it on the corner here towards my outer V and this is just so that that line from the concealer doesn't show because we want to seam this blend we do we do there's no room for lines of demarcation here and now I'm going in with one of my favorite shimmery shades from this palette and that is this shade right here called Raspberry. You even really know how to do shimmery shades. The formula is just to die for. So I'm taking that shade Raspberry and I'm starting over here towards the end. And I'm just blending it into Claret. So that you can meet 
nicely on the end here. And once I've blended those two out, then I'm literally just going to cover my entire lid in this colour. Why I chose this stubby little brush to do this, I have no idea, but I did it and it's happening, so we move. I may or may not have some fallout right here on my face. This is exactly why I don't do my face before I do my makeup because now I'm just stuck with that. That's just going to have to stay there and that's fine. But the eye is pretty much done. Well, the main part anyway. Now I'm going to add some mascara and then do all the little accents like the inner corner and lower lash line, etc. Honestly, does it really matter which mascara? I just need something that's going to coat my lashes. And this was the closest thing to me. And now for my signature black eyeliner. You guys know that I look is not an Ali C look until this liner goes on. For my lower lash line, I'm using the shade Garnet again. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that on the lower lash. Just underneath where I've put the eyeliner. So first I'm joining the corner right here. I mean, I could have done without the lower lash line colour but why not I'm here now go big or go home yeah she's looking a little fiery it's a little you know you know the inner corner I kind of want something bright I really like this shade penny and I think it would complement the look really well but I'm gonna be extra and go for this champagne gold here called oyster because I love a gold in a corner. Why not? You know? Okay. I'm done with the eyeshadows. I'm going to throw on some lashes and show you guys the final look. The lashes are on and this is the finished look. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm low-key loving it. I didn't know how I would feel about an all sort of pinky red eye on me. But... I think the shades are just so rich and so deep that it just, I think it's a vibe. I think it's a vibe. As for the palette in general, I do feel like BEV are just nailing it when it comes to their formula. I really hope that this doesn't change. I absolutely love the way the shimmers are. I love the way the mattes are. Guys, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. I think Beauty Bay really nailed the colour story. That's one thing that I think I'm really, really impressed with with this palette. I think if I was going to look for a Valentine's Day sort of scented palette, these are the type of shades that I would want from it. I definitely love the pinks and the berries, but I also love that there are some neutral colours in here. There are some browns that would make some really nice transition shades in here. And some of the shimmers, like the shade Penny, aren't doing too much so you could get away with it as an everyday look there are also like some very light colors up here that you can just do like a monochrome little look a little cute look but as a valentine's day release i have to stand i'm really loving the beauty bay 20 pound collections the book of magic palette the sunset horizons palette are both the exact same formula as this palette and it's just it's value for your money that's what it is like if i'm gonna be honest it's value for your money that's that's what you're getting beauty bay is definitely a brand that i slept on for a very very long time i don't know why don't ask me i'm slowly realizing the excellence like i'm really liking the consistency in formula you know i'm not gonna throw shade to nobody else but i'm loving the consistency in the formula that's what i'm gonna say plus the packaging is always really really cute as well I love this the eyeshadow trio is cute 
I'm not really one for like a metallic eyeshadow, but I see myself using them more as liners. So just get a pointed brush in there and, you know, do a little bit of a graphic line or something like that. But I'm not really a fan of metallic shades anyway but the shimmery shades in here i do really like the start of the show for me is definitely definitely the palette but i do think that these complement it really well if that's your kind of vibe so yeah those are my first impressions on the new romantic collection make sure you guys follow me on instagram to see more of the palette and things like that i do intend to create a couple more looks maybe a few different ones a bit more complex ones i'm not sure yet but i'm definitely going to be using this palette a few times and hopefully i'll remember to post the looks that i do thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel and continuing to support me helping me grow on all of these things your love is very very much appreciated and i hope that you guys continue to enjoy my content and that i can continue producing things for you guys and having opportunities like the one that i've been given today by beauty bay Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm really, really grateful. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.